Aviation, an industry we all rely on, and one that has a direct impact on the environment. It's estimated that 2 to 3% of global CO2 emissions are due to international aviation. And with forecasted industry growth of 4.7% per year and the threat of legislation, airlines themselves are looking for answers. This may look like a normal plane refueling, but it isn't. Fossil fuel flights normally take their fuel from a ground-based hydrogen system, but this Airbus 330-200 at Schiphol Airport needs a fueling truck. With this truck, I fill the plane with a blend of biofuel and fossil fuel. My colleague on the other side of the plane is standing on the dispenser. He will fill the left side of the plane only with fossil fuel. Once airborne, the fuel is mixed and burnt normally. This new series of biofuel flights to Aruba and Bonaire follows a series to New York held last year. Yeah, we started in May and we started two series of 10 biofuel flights on a weekly basis. The fuel has gone through exhaustive testing to ensure the specific needs of aviation and to guarantee that the feedstock doesn't compete with the food crops. The sustainable biofuel we use is made from uh, various feedstocks. Uh, we use used cooking oil and uh, camalina oil. Uh, in the future, will be, there will be different uh, types of feedstock uh, that we will be using. If commercial aviation were to get 6% of its fuel supply from Bifuel by 2020, it's estimated that this would reduce its overall carbon footprint by 5%. We don't uh, see any difference between biofuel and normal fuel. There's no difference in uh, performance, there's no difference in our uh, uh, indicators. It's, uh, the spec for biofuel and normal fuel exactly the same. With global passenger numbers now over 3 billion per year, biofuels look set to play an ever larger role in this worldwide industry. <laughs>